promised I am here for my very, very, very early April book haul. I'm so excited. I have so many good books to talk about. You know, you know when you buy a book and you're just like, yeah, this is the one. That's me right now, but with like, like 11 books. Without further ado, let us get into this. So the first book I'm gonna mention, I am so excited. I got an email a few weeks ago from Freeform Books. that They're like, hey, we have this book. You might be interested in it. And I was just like, yes. I love books that um, involve like technology screwing up people's lives. <laughs> I know that sounds really like terrible, but honestly, I feel like technology is constantly like both helping me and hindering me. So anyways, quick like forward. Take Down by Corey Wang. Can we take a second and like admire the cover? I know you might not be able to see it. Profile of this girl right here is all made up of tiny little pictures and it's really hard to get on camera, but like in person, it's just, it's so beautiful. Full disclosure to you guys, I received this book um, as a paid promotion from Freeform Books. They're a imprint of Disney Worldwide Publishing, which is so cool. I didn't even know like they were connected. This book comes out in literally, let me think, one, two, three, like five, six, seven days. This book comes out on April 11th, so it's not out yet, but it will be soon. So this book is about our main character, Kyla Chang. She's like the most popular girl in school. It's like her, then of course her like her two best friends. They're all in a clique, and she's just always been like at the top of the food chain when it comes to like high school social status. She has a really bright future for her. She comes from a really well-off family and everything's kind of looking up for her. Until she comes to school one day and there's this viral video going around and she opens it. She realizes there's a video of her in a very um, compromising position with her teacher. The video is entirely fake. It's not even Kyla in it, but whoever made the video made it look like it was Kyla, like sleeping with her teacher. And it's just like the worst possible thing that can happen, especially because she's like applying to colleges and she's a really good student. So it's really is like damaging to her reputation. Now she's gonna try and do the impossible, which is try and get that video off the internet. She's gonna try and trace it back to the source, find a way to get rid of it. It sounds so good. Again, it comes out April 11, so check it out. I'll hopefully be reading this one soon. It sounds awesome. Okay, the next book I got. I was supposed to get this book on in February actually. Sent from Clean Team Publishing, um, but it was sent to my old address and then had to be forwarded to my new address. I didn't even know they were sending me this book and I feel so bad now because I love the first book. The book I have here, I'm so excited. It came in this beautiful little white box. I'm surprised it stayed so clean, the box, since it's been moved around a lot. The Piper's Prince by Audrey Greathouse. This is the second book in the Neverland War series. Um, like last year, probably like in sometime last year, one of the 12 months last year, I reviewed the first book in the series called The Neverland Wars, and it was so good. It was like a retelling of Peter Pan, but um, in this book, the parents know about Neverland, and it's just, ah, uh, it's so good. And so this is the second book of that series, and it's so beautiful and purple, and I want lipstick this color. If you guys love retellings, I totally recommend the first book. I haven't read this one, because I just got it, even though I was supposed to get it in February. Uh. Now on to my book outlet haul of the month. I say this in every video, you guys are probably like, nah, we know what you're gonna say. I'm a vlogger friend on Book Outlet, so I did receive a gift card to get these items, and I have a link down below if you wanna check out my page, you can see all of them, all of the books on there. Uh, but I'm so excited, I, okay, I kinda went a little nuts so with like a certain author, but we'll get to that in a minute. The first book I got, I'm so happy they had back in stock. I own the first book in this series, and I recently read a book by this author. A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. I just read This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab and, wait, by Victoria Schwab. I know she goes by two different names. I have the first book, which is A Darker Shade of Magic, right? And so this is the second book and everyone told me, Naya, just get the second book. You're gonna read them back to back. They're so good. So I picked it up. This is the one that has to do with like alternate dimensions and just like time travel and, or not time, is it time travel? Time dimension jumping. Next book I got is, I love Alice in Wonderland with a passion. Prefer to exhibit A, my little graph of Alice in Wonderland falling. It's, it's beautiful. I've had it for like four years now. I I am collecting all of the Alice in Wonderland books. I have the Barnes and Nobles um, special collector's edition. I have an original copy from um, the, like the, one of the first cop, not not like a, the first copy printed, but one of the original copies. Now I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and this is the Puffin Chalk edition. So this one has like artwork in it, and it's made for younger kids. So it's kind of like a simplified version of the story, which I love. I, like I'm just trying to collect all the editions here. Like I'm just I love it so much. When my little sister's old enough, she can read it. I'm so excited. 
The next book I got is a really old one, but this is a new print edition of it, and the story just sounded really, really interesting. It's Babylon by Pat Frank, and this is like the cutest little like mass market paperback edition of this book ever, and the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. But basically, this book was written in 1945, I think, originally published in 1945, so I'm a little bit scared because, you know, 1945 was like... Um, the peak of like, racism. So, um, uh, so I was told, you know, be careful. With this, you know, you might be a little offended with some of the words they use in this book. The United States got was attacked by nuclear bombs, and now everyone, the whole civilization, has been wiped out, except for this little small town in Florida. So now this little small town is kind of just on their own. They're literally like the last people in the United States. Everyone else is dead, and so they have to, you know like live that <laughs> and and learn to be a community and learn to be really self-sufficient amongst themselves and it just it sounds like a really interesting story the next book i got is one that was on the new york times bestseller list for like ever and every time i saw it i'm like ah i need to pick it up i need to pick it up i've only i've only heard great things about this book and it is a historical fiction book which like yes i was just mentioning in my previous video like i need to read more historical fiction ruta sepatis salt to the sea a novel okay can we admire the cover. This book takes place during World War II, but instead of being sort of like, you know, a, a perspective from adults, this is actually from the perspective of four teenagers from four different countries living through this whole tragic experience. I'm not sure if it's like told from different perspectives and then the characters eventually meet, or if it's like all these characters kind of find each other and are able to relate to each other even though they're from all different parts of the world. It sounds like a really interesting book, something that I'm just going to end up crying at the end I already know like salt to the sea historical fiction World War II like it's gonna be sad last but not least so in my last video I said that I was going to be reading a new book I got the pilgrimage by Paolo Coelho it's only one of the three books by Paolo Coelho that I got the Valkyries um, by the river Pedra I sat down and wept and then also the pilgrimage by Paolo Coelho last year I had read the alchemist by Paolo Coelho and this copy here is falling apart many people have read this copy before it fell into my hands and I loved it. Alchemist, it was just amazing and I was like, I need to read other books by him. So I typed his name into Book Outlet and then what do you know, like four other books by him pop up so I'm just like, add to cart. Quick thing though, I said in my last video that this author, that his native language is Spanish and that the books were originally written in Spanish. I am so so sorry. There's a ton of comments people saying like, no, he's a Brazilian author. It was originally written in Portuguese. You guys are all correct. I don't know why. I I knew I knew I know he's a Brazilian author. I know Brazilian Portuguese is like the language spoken in Brazil, but for some reason like Spanish was just like in my head. Probably because I was studying that day. But yes, but Paulo Coelho is originally a Brazilian author, and these books were originally in Portuguese. And yeah, I'm so excited. You know that quote? It's about the journey, not the destination. I feel like that's the main message in all of his books, and I love it so much and they're so inspiring. My friend from Venezuela, she actually recommended me The Valkyries. She had originally read it in Portuguese and she's like, Naya, this book is amazing. You have to read it. And so this is going to be next on my list once I finish The Pilgrimage. Look at this. Don't you love when you just have like all the books by an author and it's just like, ah, oh, yeah. Those are all the books that I got so far this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!